Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm co-hosting Ghost of Maker Stuff here. I'm American Man, and today we are going to make this shotgun axe that I did before, or he did before, to a new, most interesting version that is actually double barrel and have a big racks, and also can be reloaded. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are going to make a much cooler version of this because this is a gun I made just for on a photo and I'm going to put it in my new project but then I'm going to make this properly out of this uh, toy shotgun instead. So we're gonna start by opening it up. That's pretty much. It. It. Now we're gonna make another spring here because this spring will be attached here so it will flip back. So we're going to fix that. Everything else from back here can be removed. So to make this all have more like wooden and older look we are going to modify this part here and actually two ways to do this one is to actually saw everything away and replace it with wood or make a cover of it that it will look like more like wood more on that later now we are going to saw off this shotgun nozzle here because we're going to extend it so we need to actually cut that off Well, there is a bit of a dilemma here due to this thing actually wider here, so it will look like very, like, not good. So we have to either really extend this whole part, make it bigger, or make this thinner, but we can't do that because the structural integrity of the tilting mechanism will be endangered. So I have to make this a little bit bigger. So this spring that is from the gun we're now gonna put inside here somewhere and then we are going to drill a little hole there as you will see to fit the new spring in which is actually one of the old springs that we're just gonna vary it's gonna look like that and then we're gonna take some uh, uh, funnel tubing here and we are going to place that up because uh, shotguns are wider uh, uh, in the back because of the pressure that the bullet will create when it's exploded inside it so uh, that's then we're gonna cut it out so it will have like a fill in in a very good way like that we'll still have some gaps which we will fix later on. And then we're gonna glue some smaller tubes inside this so we can attach some bigger tubes a little bit later on. And then uh, we are going to actually cut this part off to replace it with a better handle because they are, these handles are quite large. Even I am a large guy and I think they're too big. And they're supposed to be kid sized but I, I don't really get it. And then we're gonna put it there and also some supports with a little bit of EVA foam and uh, also a little extra part inside which I will have a picture of uh, there. Uh, yes, so the doesn't gets into the mechanism. Um. So to make this we actually have this food uh, or fruit basket thing that is very very thin um, and you can actually take and uh, just wrap this around the whole thing but uh, I actually don't have much of this so I have to fill in with some other sheet wood we just glue on here and now we're back on uh, doing this handle here which I have run out of material so it will take some plastic cardboard and actually put this thicker wood here instead of wrapping it up with a thinner wood that I don't have uh, in so much in stock of but anyway, it's just gonna glue this together here, so it will be look nice and then painted. It's fantastic. And also, we're gonna put the Kinder Eggs there. They are fantastically good fitting over there because it looks like a shotgun 
you know, very unhappy. And also see, so it will match the um, matched up in a good way. It's very important. And then we're gonna take some epoxy putty and actually make this uh, take away the little um, gaps there, and it will look like this. I have now masked up. So now, spraying time. And now we have sprayed it, and I'm just gonna remove the masking tape so we don't have a black wood there because it's gonna make like more wood color. And you see, it's gonna be some areas that it's gonna have to paint later. And you see, I just put a rail upon it also, it's just a part, a long uh, plastic part on top of it, which I forgot to film. However, we're gonna take now a real axe and uh, going to cut out the blade because we're gonna make a fake blade because um, well metal blades are not very good to cutting your your friends with or your actors or whoever you're gonna use this on because you are going to use this on someone I'm sure you will do that anyway so just cut on the, the texture on it and then I shave the whole thing in two parts we actually make like two um, guidelines and then you just uh, take them between that and it's gonna and it's gonna be fold and if it's, your knives need to be very very sharp and then we're gonna make uh, the inside of it so it will have the proper dimensions and also making the blade is gonna cut out here we're just having the the exacto blade being very very sharp And also make it very smooth and so on. So, um, I've tried to build this up by making it in layers and then I'm gonna tape it and it looks something like that. But, but on the other hand, I actually live on a farm. So, I thought I might have an old axe around the house, which I have. So, I'm just gonna attach this instead and replace this metal harmful blade with a friendly plastic blade of the old one. And then we're gonna take some L brackets and actually bend them a little bit so they will be in the right angle of it and just measure it out and uh, take some screws and screw them together so it will be like that. And you see the handle is uh, very plastic, so we are going to make a little, uh, take a little bit of foam pieces here and uh, glue them and tape them together, so it will be a little bit more flesh on the bones there to hold the thing on. And also making trigger out of EVA foam. And now we're going to rip this uh, linen to make a, a well long piece of it. Um, I glue them together and I'm just gonna glue this on here and uh, just rotating it and glue and uh, glue and glue and glue and it will be a very very nice nice thing there and also you can cover up a lot of imperfections with that when you're gonna have this kind of very rednecky look to this uh, gun axe thing which is actually incredibly super impractical if you think about it. And now we're gonna paint the whole thing brown axe because it's gonna be rusty and old. And also we're gonna have to mix up uh, fake blood and coffee and some brown paint there. And we're going to paint the whole thing with it because it will have a very, very nice, interesting color. You see it look very flat and brown. So we're just gonna take some rub and some black paint into it to make it a little more old and so and also you use a lot of water on the on the wood so it will just suck in everything. And to make a rust we're just gonna slap on with a like uh, pushing it to it so it will have a very uh, irregular pattern. And I also take different kind of brown and let it dry between so it will get more irregular like uh, shapes of rust. And you see uh, just wiping it off in that layer and the next layer of rust paint edge which on metal paint and then we are gonna be pretty much finished with this thing so um, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe